a visually impaired person wanted to work for for your company and they want to, you know they're contracted out to work for disney whatever and they find that the the the, the software is not compatible what happens in that in, the, in that aspect how do you uh, try to make this uh work well, and i'm not put you on spot but that's no 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 it's okay with all of my with any agent i try to walk you through the process step by step with any agent visually impaired or not That's right, we're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? What's up, Kanish? Hey Anthony, glad to have you on your show today. Uh, yep, this is true. I have known Anthony for quite some time and I met him while he was applying, trying to get a work at home position. Um, the name of the company is Darting Quality of Work. So business, uh, yeah, a lot of people during the pandemic are probably looking for work at home jobs, trying to stay safe. This is the avenue you can go to, uh, to get yourself started. I'm partnered with another company that we uh, have different uh, clients available. Some like, uh, just to name a few, Intuit, Carnival, few of them. Um, but we have a lot more. Um, they're listed on my website, dartingqualityofworks.com. But what it entails is this is an independent contracting position. You are not an employee. You will receive a 1099. Um, so you will be, there are fees involved, but they are very low at a minimum. And you have to pass a background check and have a working laptop, landline, all of those requirements in order to service the clients. The majority of our clients require customer service. There are a few that do sales, but most of those positions are customer service positions. Um, I've been doing this now since I think about 2014, maybe even longer. I've been doing it for a very long time. It is a very lucrative business. We can work more than one client at a time. We have the flexibility of scheduling ourselves how we want. Um, like I said, I'm a mother. So I do have the benefit of scheduling my schedule around my son. So it does not interfere with him. Like next week, they're going to be out of school for that entire week. I'm still gonna earn my money. I'm still gonna make my coins because I have the ability to work at night and schedule myself how I see fit to work around his schedule. So, and yeah, I've worked more than one client at a time. In some cases, I earned up to $22 an hour sitting at home working two clients because that's just the flexibility that we have being able to work from home. It's, it's very i cannot never see myself going back to a regular nine to five gig i can't i definitely understand uh, that. yeah i i, I can not be able to do that no i just enjoy the flexibility if nothing else so um, that 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 allows me time with my family and do what i want okay yeah. that's interesting um now with the you know like i said with the uh the emergence of this this COVID and whatnot, there are a lot of individuals um, who are looking for jobs, as you mentioned, especially visually impaired individuals, and they have a, a hell of a hard time trying to find some employment. Now, go more into detail about. Uh, first of all, it's uh, let them know that that your business is legit, right? It's legit. I right. I have a Better Business Bureau sticker. I am legit. <laughs> right, because that's been that's been the kind of like, a lot of people have been leery about uh, uh, work doing work work from home jobs and things like that. I don't know if it's legit or not. I'm scared, whatever. But yes, I can I, I can I can also attest the fact that this is legit. I just wanted to, to wanted to come out uh, of the horse's mouth. Now, give them a scenario in terms of how if a person is interested in working for you, uh, what's offered, what you know, if you know. Don't you don't have to bore them, but tell them what it, what the job entails in terms of what they will, will be doing briefly, you know, and 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 just interest them because uh, the visually impaired community is definitely looking for some employment and working for home will definitely help them out. Uh, I could start with pay. Pay always seems to be the go getter, the motivation. Um, the majority, well, 
our highest paid client pays sixteen dollars an hour. Um, it's a tax client. Um, it's a tax client, tax software client. You're not doing taxes. You're actually assisting people with tax software. Uh, so yeah, you you would be earning money. It's pretty simple. It's complete the certification course. You go through the whole training part, and yeah, it's and you. I think it's like a month's time you're taking calls within your home. And that particular client does not require you to have a landline. So you do not have a have to have a landline. Um, I think that will probably be one of the better clients for the visually impaired due to the fact that there's no equipment that they may have to hook up to their software because you will be actually using your computer and the phone is already in their computer system some way where you're using a headset. So I'm not sure about the technology that, that that you guys have, but I think that will probably be one of the better clients. I'm not real okay. sure about the technology. And that's and that's that man, if if, if that if we can get that uh, um you know that that really taken care of uh there could be a lot of individuals that could actually come and work for you because what it is um a lot of uh like uh, voice activated programs um, such as JAWS and um, uh, God, I can't think of the other ones. But anyway, JAWS, that's the main thing. And NVDA, which is uh, um, software that uh, people use on the computer. If they're not interface, or they can't interface with the, the other um, uh, uh, computers, it makes it hard. So with that being said, how helpful or how accessible are you uh, in trying to make this connection work. Say, for instance, if, if a, a visually impaired person wanted to work for, for your company and they want, to, you know, they're contracted out to work for Disney, whatever, and they find that the, 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 the software is not compatible, what happens in that in, the, in that aspect? How do you uh, try to make this uh, work? Well, and I'm not going to put you on the spot, but... No, 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 it's okay. With all of my, with any agent, I try to walk you through the process step by step with any agent visually impaired or not, it doesn't matter. I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to be there. We're going to go through this together um, because I want to make sure that you're set up properly. I want to make sure that you have all of your accommodations. Um, once they notify me that they can or cannot accept the equipment, I will get back with you. I don't want to waste your time. I understand your time is valuable. So I don't want to keep you dangling just like I don't want them to keep me dangling. So as soon as I find out any information as to what they can and cannot accept for you, okay. I will get back with you immediately, either via phone or email, whichever you prefer. But I make it a point. Communication is key in this process because we are virtual. So there is not, you know, it's not like, you know, I work with people out of state. So it's not like, you know, I can just walk around the corner. Hey, they didn't do this or whatever. And I can set you up. No, we, we have to really converse together to make sure that everything is going and that you're on all nine cylinders pumping and up and running. Ah!